welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tony, and I'm a homeschooling mom to four kids, and I love to read. And I love for my kids to read, and I love to talk about books, and it's just one of my favorite things. So we're talking about books today. So we're gonna to talk today about the best book series for young readers. I have a huge stack of books in front of me that I can't wait to show you. So if you wanna see what my suggestions are for the best book series for young readers, we're talking brand new, fresh, tiny, tiny little readers up to ready for chapter books. That's what we're covering today. So let's go. So one thing that I love about series is that it gets your kids excited to keep reading. So if you find a book that they really love, but there's only like one of them, then it's kind of like, well, what do I do now? Now I have to find something totally new. But if you can find a book that they're excited about and there is a whole series of them, whether it's a small series of three books or whether it's a huge series of like a hundred books, then you can still get them excited and keep them excited and they wanna like make sure they try to read them all, get, make it a challenge and let them read the whole series. So that is why I'm excited about series and I wanna share this with you because I really think it's a fun thing to just keep them, get them to know that character, because typically the characters are gonna be the same characters. They feel like they know them. We're gonna start with the earliest books first and work our way up to more chapter books, early chapter books, stuff like that. So let's start with some of my favorites. And I'm, I have lots of series. I love books. If you have not seen my library uh, bookshelf video where I, I rearrange my bookshelf, I will link that above in case you wanna see what that is. I've got a lot of books and I love books and I keep buying them. So I've gotta start with one of my favorites from when my kids were like teeny tiny and this would be something that I would read to my young ones and that is the famous Curious George. This isn't even all of them. I, they have so many books, but I love Curious George. So this is one of the best series because it's cute and fun. These are all from thrift stores and I found these. Oh, the one on front is even a Spanish Curious George, which is really cool. And we are learning Spanish right now. So I hope to one day be able to read Curious George in Spanish and it's the, the actual book in Spanish. I can't read this right now, but we're hoping to one day. They have all kinds, Curious George, just the actual Curious George book. This is Curious George Visit the Library. That is one of my favorites. That one's really fun. Uh, makes pancakes, Curious, Curious George, and the Firefighters, and then I have two Christmas books. I feel like I have more, but this was all I could find to show you guys. Anyway, just super fun. Everybody is probably familiar with him, but it's a cute little monkey that gets into trouble. He's mischievous and he's curious and he always seems to get himself into trouble. It's very engaging and there's, you know, TV show movies and stuff too, but I love getting the kids excited about what is he going to do next and it's really fun. So this is my first probably favorite series. The next one I have, now I was a school teacher for first and second graders before I homeschooled my kids, so before I even was married. I was a school teacher. So some of these are some of my favorites from when I was a teacher too. So this next one is called Froggy. It's like Froggy, uh, Froggy plays t-ball, Froggy rides a bike, Froggy learns to swim. This is a huge series. There are a lot of these. I see these at the library. I got these and I'm pretty sure I have others too, but uh, my kids have read them and, and I might have some in my son's room, I'm not sure. These are really fun easy books for them to start, for them to read or for mom to read to them, but it's got some easy, easy words that they might recognize. So like with my son, who's just kind of in the early stages of reading, he will read these with me. I'll read the words that I know he doesn't know. And then he reads all the words he knows, even if it's like the or cat or frog, he'll read them. So these are really fun, super fun, engaging series. So the next one is the If You Lived series. And I love these for just a little supplement to history. If you lived in colonial times, if you lived in the Underground Railroad, this one is uh, if you grew up with Abraham Lincoln, if you lived at the Civil War, during the Civil War time, the Sioux Indians, if you were there when they signed the Constitution. These are just fun uh, books to get them excited about history. It's got pictures all throughout. It's just nice little easy stories. They have these at the library. They're really easy to get. And so most of these, I think pretty much all these that I'm sharing with you, you can probably get at the library. But uh, I love this series. I have picked these up. Every time I see one that we don't have, I grab them at the thrift store because I love this series for young readers. Okay, now we're gonna move on to more chapter books. The rest of these are chapter books and I'm just gonna fly through these and share with you guys what we have. So the first one that I will say that was a major hit for my kids, for all of them so far, and we have a ton, and this isn't even all of them, but I knew I couldn't hold them all up. The Magic Tree House. Have you guys ever read Magic Tree House? This is such a good, first chapter book for like your kid is 
finally confident enough to do chapter books. This is not too difficult. They're nice and small. My oldest was, when I was pulling these out, she was like, mom, that's the first chapter book I ever read. And she was like devouring these, all of my girls have. But these are Magic Tree House books, really short little chapters. They do have pictures throughout. And these are just really fun, um, very easy and not overwhelming. And it's just these these two kids, Jack and Annie, and they have this magic tree house, and then they go into different places in history. These are just really fun, super easy books. So if your kid is like finally ready to start reading chapter books, get them to pick any of these, like any. And it's fun to have a series because they know there's something else to get next. If they really enjoy it, you're not just like, oh, that was a great book, but there's no more. There's plenty. So this is an awesome one. So the next one that I have here is a really early reader, but so fun. And this is Pete the Cat. If you have not ever been introduced to Pete the Cat, you need to because it's so fun. So funny. Uh, a couple, I didn't really get to know Pete the Cat until a few years ago. So just a couple of my girls and then my son loves it. But we've got Pete the Cat's Big Lunch. They've got, he goes to school. It's just his, these books are funny. Like this cat is just so cool. And I think there's a show too, but the cat is just so cool. And he does these like funny, silly things, but he, he doesn't actually talk. It's really weird. Anyway, Pete the cat plays ball. There's a ton of these at the library. We've either gotten these as like prizes for the, the library summer reading program or at the thrift store or whatever. But I love Pete the cat. They're again, really easy, really easy stories with pictures, very engaging, and you love Pete. You just love him. He's a really funny cat. So this is a great series to start out for really young readers. The next one is one that I got at homeschool convention last year, two years ago. Anyway, love it. It is so good. My kids have devoured it. So this is called The Dead Sea Squirrels, and it is such a funny book. Mike Narwaki, and he is actually the the writer of Veggie Tales, and he wrote this story um, the Dead Sea Squirrels. And there are, our library has them. This is a Christian series from Tyndale. Like it says, bringing God's word to life for kids. But our library has them, our public library. So we actually own three of them. My daughter just checked out book four the other day. But this is a series that they have just loved. It's historical. Um, th it, it talks about, the, well, the Dead Sea Squirrels. So it's the time of the Dead Sea Scrolls. It's a play on words, get it? But it's like, I don't know if you would call this like historical fiction, but that's kind of what it is, but for a young, for young age. So this is a really fun series to get started with and they do have them at least at our library. So check it out and see if you can find it there. But this is a funny, very entertaining series. My girls have loved them. Okay, last year for Christmas, you may have seen this in my Christmas video, but I got my daughter the Princess Pulverizer book. I found it at a thrift store and was like, okay, this looks really funny and entertaining. It had some pictures in here and it just looked like something she would like. I did not know it was a series and it is. So she loved it. This is my eight-year-old. She just turned nine the other day, so I guess she's nine now, but she read this starting when she was eight and she has just devoured this. It's kind of a funny adventure series about this little princess who is not a princess. She's not like the princess type. Anyway, she's loved it. It's just um, super fun and I don't know how many books are in the series, but there's quite a bit. So she has loved those and anytime we see them at a thrift store or a book sale or anywhere, she wants to pick them up. That is a fun one, especially if you have a girl who's adventurous, she will love Princess Pulverizer. That is a super fun one. I'm sure if you are around my age, you probably read Choose Your Own Adventure because I feel like those were huge growing up. I love Choose Your Own Adventure books. They have a ton of these at the library. This is the only one I could find on our shelf. I think we have at least a couple more, but this one is Pirate Treasure on the Onyx Dragon. But they have a ton. They have Choose Your Own Ending, which is like a, a younger version. It's like a bigger book. So they have plenty of these, but this is really cool. You read the story and then when you get to the end of the page, it'll say, if you wanna do this, go to this page. If you wanna do this, go to this page. And you get to choose what you want your character to do. And then sometimes you'll maybe pick the wrong thing and it's like, sorry, you killed your person or this happened or whatever, the end. And then you go back and start over. I loved Choose Your Own Adventure books when I was a kid. So these are really fun for someone who maybe doesn't want to sit and read a long chapter book. This would be fun because you're, you're not reading the entire book in one sitting because you're going from page 
five to page 19 and then maybe back to page seven and then to page 23. So you bounce around depending on what your ending is. Super fun. I love choose your own adventure books. Okay. Another one that my daughter absolutely loved when my, when my oldest daughter was a little bit younger, she loved the I survived books. These are historical books that are, um, this is put on by Scholastic. They have a ton of these. So the only two, again, I thought I had more, but I think a lot of these we just check out from the library, but we've loved them. This is the eruption of Mount St. Helens. And then this one is I survived Hurricane Katrina. So it's actually like a, a historical fiction, but in the place of, an, of a specific historical event, like, you know, the eruption of Mount St. Helens. And it's usually like a kid going through this, what happened? And my daughter just loved these, loves it. And she learned a lot about where the historical event was. I, I know they've read the Titanic. I survived the Titanic. So anyway, really cool series. This is really fun. If your kids like adventure, this would be a really good series. And they're not a big deal. They're, these are all pretty small chapter books. So this is really fun. If any of you guys are wondering about my t-shirt, my husband got me this for Mother's Day. Isn't it cute? This is like, so me. That's the bar that I'm usually on is like the last plug her in she needs something mom is losing it so i love it it was just on amazon so i will link it below if you guys want this amazing shirt i will link it below the next one i have is adventures and odyssey my kids love listening to adventures and odyssey audiobooks but they have this imagination station and this again some of these are uh historical so this one is attack on the arena which i think is roman time and then this one is Peril at the Palace. So these are historical, but they also, Adventures in Odyssey has this one. This is just a mystery, Mysteries in Odyssey, the case of the mysterious message. And then we have this big book too, which is a Strange Journey Back. And this is Adventures in Odyssey. This has like four different books in it, but um, inside of this one big book. These are fun. They're Christian biblically based books and they're just really entertaining and they get to learn because it is a lot of times historical which is really cool so we've loved adventures in odyssey if you like listening to the adventures in odyssey series you might really like these these are fun our library has them so i don't know if all libraries have them we live in an area where it's not that hard to find christian stuff so i have no idea if you live in california or something if it's hard to find stuff like this but at least in our library, it is really easy to find that stuff. The next thing I'm gonna share with you is one of my favorites, and this is more of a like younger, not really chapter books, Little Bear. Did you guys read Little Bear? I love these. Little Bear's Visit. This is Father Bear Comes Home. This is Little Bear, and I think I have two of those, yeah. One's a hardback and one's a paperback, just Little Bear. That's probably like the first one. There's A Kiss for Little Bear and Little Bear's Visit. And these are just really sweet, stories about this cute little bear and i just love them this is a good first chapter book you know it's really really easy to read really good first reader and like i said this is a series and i'm sure there's way more than what i own but there's a lot of these little bear books and these are just sweet wholesome books and i, I love it okay so the next series that i have is really fun have you okay you as moms may have at some point read the Left Behind series. Did you know that there is a Left Behind series for kids? This is called Left Behind the Kids. And uh, we actually have the whole series, but um, one is missing. It's somewhere. I don't know where. But we have the whole series. My daughter, I'm not sure if she read the whole series, but she has read a bunch of these. My oldest daughter, and I'd like my other ones to read them, but they're really small, manageable, little tiny books. The, the print, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, the print is kind of small, but they're, these are good. So this would be more for like maybe an upper elementary grade book, but they're still not that big, but it's a whole series. So again, something that if they get excited about the first book, the second book, there is a ton for them to keep interested in with this series. So I don't know if they have this at the library, but we, I think my, my mother-in-law found me this whole set at a thrift store. So I see the big left behind series at thrift stores all the time. So keep your eye out, but those are really fun. The next thing I have is Amelia Bedelia. Now I grew up on the Amelia Bedelia like readers, but I didn't know. I, I don't know if this is, this has got to be pretty new, but they have an Amelia Bedelia series and their chapter books. And she is the funniest. If you have not read Amelia Bedelia, you need to. 
I always feel silly saying her name, but she just does really dumb things and like she does very literal things. So if you say, can you go throw the trash in the trash can? She would literally like throw all the trash in the trash can rather than putting it in. So anyway, the other books, Amelia Bedelia was just this really funny, ridiculous person that did everything completely literally. And she was a like nanny, like a, or a housekeeper or something. She was older. This, she's a little girl. So it's a cute little sweet Amelia Bedelia book. And um, we have, I, I, we probably, yeah, we are missing a couple of these because we have the whole set and uh, this is not all of them. But this is a really fun, sweet little easy chapter book to start. So my daughter loved those. Another one that's very similar is Mrs. Piggle Wiggle. And this has been around for a long time. I got these at a thrift store. Uh, if you have not read these, it's just another funny book. Just a fun, lighthearted book about this lady named Mrs. Piggle Wiggle. So these are really great. I think I've heard these suggested many times. This says this is ages six to 10. But um, these, the, these are older, uh, but they've got some pictures throughout. Just a nice little starter chapter book that's fun. A lot of times at this age, they just want a fun book. They want something that's going to grab their attention, keep their attention, and just interest them. And some of these funny books really make them want to read it. So especially... For my two middle girls, they've loved stuff like Amelia Bedelia, Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, stuff like that. They've really enjoyed it. Another one that they really like that my two girls have been majorly into that is a huge series is Geronimo Stilton. And they have Geronimo Stilton and they have Thea Stilton, which I think they're sister and brother maybe. And it's this mouse. This is more of a, it's a chapter book, but it does have a lot of pictures and it has this fun uh, like writing, you know, throughout type and stuff so it's almost kind of like a comic but not not fully and then this one the you know this is a hardback one but they're all like this with all that color and big pictures and stuff this is a huge series we have a ton of these at our library so and that's a Thea Stilton one which is very similar but it follows the sister instead of the brother so these are really fun we don't own I don't know I think we only, only own three of these but the library has a ton and my girls have checked out so many of them Another one that I loved as a kid, and I think it's just really fun, which is the Littles. And this is a uh, this is this teeny tiny little family, like the Borrowers. I think is very similar, which is another one. But their chapter books are a little bit bigger. These are really small, easy chapter books, and it's just about these Littles that you know go on adventures and stuff. So this one is the Littles taking a trip, and this is the Littles and the Trash Tinies. And they're just fun little adventures about these tiny little people and this, their family. Another one that my daughter got, not some of these are a little more girl-centered because I have three girls, um, but some of them are boys too. This is more of a girl book, but The Never Girls, this is one that my mom got for my daughter for her birthday. This is a set of four, and it is like the Tinkerbell series. Like it's about Tinkerbell and her friends and they go on adventures. So if your daughter is into Tinkerbell, this would be a great book for her. And it was just a cute little set. It was a sweet present to have just the really pretty fun books. That's what it looks like. And it's got some pictures in there, but they're nice, good size words. It's not too small of print. It's a really fun series. So I would definitely highly recommend this if you've got girls with that love Peter Pan and Tinkerbell. Okay, let's get on to the next one. The Boxcar Children, which has been around forever and they have a ton of books. Boxcar Children, super small, easy, manageable books. Now, they have the Boxcar Children, um, which is more like, I think these are all adventure. They're probably a little bit of mystery too. Some of them are mystery, like the dinosaur mystery, the hockey mystery. So maybe these are really mystery. But I also, at a book sale once, got these which I think this is just an older set but these are the boxcar children mysteries also the radio mystery the mystery of the runaway ghost the game store mystery so these were fun too the haunted boxcar ghost town mystery so these I, I don't know if it's the same exact ones as these and they're just hardback I'm not really sure they seem a little bit different but either way our library has a ton like this one right here this book is number 114. See that? Number 80 right there. So they have a ton, a ton of boxcar children books. And it's just a good introduction to mystery that's not going to be too scary because my uh, one daughter 
My youngest daughter is not a big fan of like super scary stuff. These were not at all. It's more of just an adventure with a really simple like mystery element to it. So I love boxcar children. Like they've been around forever. So those are great. Okay, another one that my girls love, and this is more of the girl fairy tale thing, but they love, love these whatever after. So these are like a young, funny twist on all the fairy tales. So like this one's Once Upon a Frog, so that's what the princess and the, the princess and the frog, what is that one called? I don't know. You know what story I'm talking about, right? This one, Sugar and Spice, which is like Hansel and Gretel. This one is Abby in Wonderland, Alice in Wonderland. This one is Sink or Swim, which would be The Little Mermaid. And then this one is Bad Hair Day, which is Rapunzel. And my girls, first of all, they listen to these as audiobooks at bedtime all the time. They have them like all memorized. So, um, and the little boy in the story, his name is Jonah, which is sweet because we have a Jonah. But anyway, it's Abby and Jonah. And it's a story about them going into this this magic, I think they have a magic mirror in their basement or something that their parents don't know about. And they go look in the mirror and they get to go into these fairy tales. And it's just like an fun, sweet adventure. So my girls have devoured these and absolutely love them. They've read the books so many times, each of these. So these are like a major favorite in our family. Another one, this is another girl one that my girls have absolutely loved. So they have American Girl books. They have a bunch of different American Girl books. But we've got these. They have some that are more historical fiction, like uh, they're set in different time periods. This is Meet Kit. So this is 1934. So these are fun if you're studying that time period in history. This is Meet Rebecca. So that's an actual like American girl, but it's 1914. Um, this one is Meet Emily. She's 1944. So it teaches them, it follows these kids' life through this time period. This one is uh, Nellie's Promise, 1906. There's a ton of these books. So these are really fun. The, my girls have really enjoyed those. My oldest loved the mystery ones. Be Forever, and they've got like intruders at Rivermead Manor. So it's a, it's a mystery American girl. And then this one, uh, Be Forever, The Tangled Web. She This was one of the first ones she read and she loved it. She was so excited about that a few years ago. Um, you've got, they've got ones that's just more contemporary American girl. Um, I have not read these, so I don't know if these have anything questionable. I don't think so. Um, I think this is more of a recent one that we got, so I don't even know. I think we got it at a book sale or something. But anyway, uh, these, this is not the historical and it just follows the girl. It's not a, it's not a, a mystery. And then we've got Grace. They love Grace. That is one of their favorites because there's a movie about it too. So that's Grace. She lives in Paris. And then this was one of my daughter's favorite. And this is just an adventure. I'm not sure if there's a mystery with it too. I think it maybe has a little bit of a mystery. But this is Leah Leads the Way. And um, this is a cute movie too. So they do have movies on some of these. I know Grace and Leah, they both have movies, which is fun for them to like read the book and then watch the movie. So that is a fun series that they have loved. Okay, so the next series is, I, I'm not sure if there's only two at this point. You'd have to look it up and see. This is a story, it's called, this one is The Ark, and, the, Ark the Reed, and the Fire Cloud. And this is a story about Noah's Ark. And, I, and it's uh, these animals, so it's a story of the perspective of this like cat and this, this dog maybe. And it's them telling the story about their life on the Ark. And it's just really cute. This is a big book. This is a much bigger book than the other ones, which is why I saved it for last. I got this from my daughter a couple years ago during the pandemic when I ordered them all a book and it just sounded really cool and she loved it, loved, loved it. And then this other one was The Dreamer, The Schemer, and The Robe. And this is about Joseph in the Bible. And so, but it's these dogs. So again, you're following these characters through these different Bible stories. And these are sweet and fun and like biblically based. So really cool. Both of ours are, the fun thing is, I think we got these on thrift books, but both of ours are, it's made out to somebody else, but it's assigned by the author, which is really cool. They both are. So this is a really fun series. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if there's two books or more, but my girls have loved these. I'm sure there are plenty of other books. I didn't want to make this video too long. So these are like the favorites. These are ones that my kids have all loved that I am holding on to because I want them all to read. Like I want my son to read all these too. And it's just been really fun. I, I really encourage you to, if you have a kid who's 
just getting into reading chapter books or you have one that knows how to read but doesn't really want to, get them into a series, get them into the characters, get them to really love some character and they're gonna wanna keep reading and they're gonna wanna devour these series and how cool for your kid to be like 15 and be like, I read every single Magic Treehouse book that has ever been written. Like how cool is that? You know, I read a hundred Magic Treehouse books or something because they love it. So I would encourage you to find, help them find a series. So when you go to the library, if you're like, I don't even know where to start, look at the series and be like, why don't you try one of these? I just think these are fun and helpful and I wanna do anything I can to encourage reading and this is something that's helped us is reading series. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I would like to do it. My daughter asked me today, she was like, are you gonna do a book series for like teens? And I was like, yeah, I need to do that. It'll be a different video. So let me know if you're interested in that in a, a book series that is good for teens. Maybe we'll do a book series for adults too because they do have some. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. If, uh, if you're not yet subscribed, please make sure you do that so you don't miss out on my other videos. I love having you guys here. I will see you next time. Bye. Ugh. Best book series to, is that what it is? So if you wanna see what my set is, Mike, 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 what's his name? I love it. More of a, uh, let's see. Okay, so it, another one, um, uh, uh, oh, um, the fun, uh, what is it called? Um, um, uh, girl, it's not a, it's not a, and all that stuff. Um, is that what I called it? I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh, that was a big sneeze. Oh, the next one. Oopsie whoops. That was kind of fun. Oops.